Hey there, tech explorers. Ever glanced at your Century Link modem and felt a flicker of confusion at those blinking lights? You're not alone. Those tiny LEDs are like your modem's secret language, whispering tales of connection, hiccups, and everything in between. Understanding these lights can be your superpower, turning you from a tech novice into a digital detective. It's like having a direct line to your modem's thoughts, allowing you to troubleshoot issues before they become major headaches. Don't worry, you don't need a degree in computer science to crack the code. We're going to break down each light, its colors, and what those blinking patterns really mean. Get ready to demystify your modem and become a master of your digital domain. Let's start with the basics, the power light. This little guy is usually green, signaling that your modem is alive and kicking, happily drawing power from your outlet. A solid green light means you're good to go. But what if it's off? First, don't panic. It might seem obvious, but check that the modem is plugged in securely. Sometimes a loose connection is all that stands between you and internet bliss. If it's still off, try plugging something else into the outlet to make sure it's working. If the outlet is the culprit, you'll need to investigate your home's electrical system. And remember, if you're ever unsure, it's always best to contact CenturyLink support for help. Next up, we have the DSL light. This one indicates your modem's connection to the digital superhighway, the DSL network. A solid green DSL light means your modem is successfully synced and ready to roll. If it's blinking green, your modem is working hard to establish a connection. This is normal, especially during initial setup or after a power outage. Just give it a few minutes to do its thing. A solid red or amber DSL light, however, signals trouble in paradise. This usually means your modem can't connect to the DSL network. There are a few things you can try, like restarting your modem or checking for any loose cables. If the problem persists, it's time to reach out to CenturyLink. They have the tools and expertise to diagnose any network issues that might be affecting your connection. Section 4. Internet Light. Are you actually online? Now for the million dollar question. Are you actually connected to the internet? That's where the internet light comes in. A solid green light here means you're good to go. Surf away. A blinking green internet light usually indicates data is flowing to and from your devices. It's like the modem's heartbeat, showing that your connection is alive and well. But if it's red or off, that's a sign that something's amiss. Your modem might be having trouble getting an IP address or there might be a network outage in your area. Restarting your modem is always a good first step, but if the problem persists, contact CenturyLink support for assistance. Section 5, Wi-Fi Light, Spreading the Digital Joy. Ah, Wi-Fi, the invisible force that keeps us connected to the digital world. The Wi-Fi light on your CenturyLink modem tells you if your wireless network is up and running. A solid green light means you're broadcasting those sweet, sweet Wi-Fi signals. A blinking green Wi-Fi light indicates that data is being transmitted wirelessly. It's like the digital equivalent of chatter at a party, showing that your devices are happily communicating with the modem. If the Wi-Fi light is off, however, your wireless network is down. This could be due to a variety of factors like accidental disabling of the Wi-Fi or a technical glitch. Try restarting your modem, and if that doesn't do the trick, refer to your modem's user manual or contact CenturyLink support for help. Section 6. Troubleshooting tips, lights gone wrong? Don't panic. We've covered the basics, but remember, every modem is different. The exact meaning of each light can vary slightly depending on your specific model. Don't worry though, CenturyLink has your back. If you're ever unsure about a particular light or encounter a problem you can't solve, there are resources available to help. You can usually find detailed troubleshooting guides and FAQs on the CenturyLink website. These guides provide step-by-step -step instructions and helpful diagrams to get you back online in a jiffy. And if all else fails, don't hesitate to contact CenturyLink support. Their friendly and knowledgeable agents are available 24-7 to assist you with any technical difficulties. They can remotely diagnose issues, guide you through troubleshooting steps, and even schedule a technician visit if needed. Remember, you're not alone in the vast world of technology. CenturyLink is there every step of the way to ensure you have a smooth and enjoyable online experience. So go forth, explore the digital realm, and never fear those blinking lights again.